So for today's video, we're gonna start things off by going over a bunch of complete bikes that are here in our bike shop. Because the truth is, a lot of you guys that are watching this right now probably have questions about complete bikes. Like you're just starting out BMX or you're getting back into BMX. And since we have this bike shop here in Howell, New Jersey, SC Bicycles, we've had this for what? I think it's like, man, 2007? I'm terrible at math right now. What is that, man? 15 years? 15 years of a bike shop? That's crazy. That's absolutely ridiculous. And the truth is, I've been coming to this bike shop as a customer since 1995. That's when I got my first BMX bike from here. So crazy that all this time later that we ended up taking ownership of it and that we are still using the same racks, the same <laughs> rack system that my BMX bike once was on when I got my first one. Crazy to me, but uh, we're blessed to be able to do this. And I figured I would just walk you guys through purchasing a complete bike, like what you should be looking for what goes through the process of it, all the different things of it. So me and Maddie were actually just doing some thinking about it all and uh, going over the different brands that we have and we're gonna do a quick run through as if I'm a person that's just getting into it on a budget or if I'm a person that wants to go crazy. So uh, we'll start things off by just doing a quick walk down here. Right here is the tall orders. And we have a few different tall order variations here. We have a couple different ranges. What were the prices, Matt? What was the, the cheapest one? I think they started at about $4.99. $4.99. Yep. And that one's gonna be okay. for the tall order ramp. And this is a really high quality bike. It's got uh, a really good look to it. Uh, it Tallitter does very, very simple design on everything. Like the stickers, they're always, um, you know, the clean Tallitter look on it. This one's got the three piece cranks and quality of the complete bikes for everything right now. I mean, like com compared to when I was a kid, to now like it is so much better than it used to be like my first bmx bike had a one-piece crank on it like then we don't have any one piece cranks anymore <laughs> you won't that find them i don't think exist. yeah no, which is kind of cool that's cool it's, to it, think it about is huh. really cool. and a one piece for example like if you see this old bike right here those are one piece cranks. this is a child's bike it is yeah <laughs> and it's also know, used it's a used bike that we have here so it's an older one not just three pieces you have the quality of the three piece itself what it's made out of all the different bottom brackets that are on it the uh yeah. different different spacings and all that, but it's quite complicated. I'll show you guys as we go. But the tall loader, great bike. Uh, the most expensive one that we have, Matt, that one was like 700 bucks. Yeah, we have one that's uh, 700 Oh yeah, it's bucks. in the back right now. Yep. We just took it off because uh, we noticed that it had a flat tire, so we were changing it. But yeah, the tall loader is great quality bike. We're gonna keep on walking down, we'll show you guys. So right here, we have two different Sundays. We'll stop and show you guys. Um, this is a Sunday blueprint, this one's the primer. So the blueprint is the 439 version, and this one, the primer, is the 489 version. The main difference that we can tell from here, uh, the different tires, this one has Odyssey tires on it, um, and they definitely have two different hubs on it. Um, it looks like this one's a sealed setup on the primer, and the blueprint, it seems like it has a loose ball setup, but a lot of the parts are very similar looking. Um, and the price difference, the blueprint is $439, and and the primer is $489. So, you know, you got 50 bucks right there of a difference. This one has a standard bottom bracket. This one has a mid. So for $50 difference, you actually get a pretty awesome difference in a bike when it comes to quality. So, and we're moving over to the Kinks. Now the Kinks are a brand that we've been selling for a really long time. You have the Kink Curb, which is the starter bike. And that one sells for around $360, but it goes up really high in quality on the Kinks. So we have a bunch of different ones too. We'll show you once we get towards the end. Right here is a Colt Gateway. Now this bike is you know more of a starter style bike for Colt. This bike comes at $429. Uh, it's got really nice Colt Vans tires on it. Um, it's also got really good coloring. I think uh, Colt always did a good job with the coloring of their bikes and they go for a very very simplistic look as well. And a lot of uh, a lot of the bikes you're gonna be seeing today are simplistic. It seems like that's more of the in thing right now. Over here we have a bunch of different Easterns and the Easterns are actually on sale which is kind of cool. So we have like this one that's $689 it's going for $629 so if you guys want to get that you guys can order it on our website and you guys can get a pretty good deal and the quality of the parts look look really well on it too it's going to be comparable to the rest of them and they got a nice big tires on it um, over here is another kink this one is $449 this is a gap complete so the kink gap definitely an awesome bike this one's just got a regular cassette on it, really cool orange um, and black combination. I think they did a really good job on it as well. Uh, here's a Curb Complete. This is one of the cheaper ones. Um, I know uh, Kink's always done a really great job with their coloring. So like you can see this frame it almost has like a gray, which like with like, like a painted, yeah, like, like, a, a, like a washed, brush, yeah, brush in a way. Over here is where we start ramping things up a little bit. We have a Kink right here. This one's $599. This one's the Switch. This one's got four piece handlebars on it. On it 
really cool color on it. You can see it's like a matte black. Oh, so it's it's nice. And the kink right here in on it's the head cool. shoe is like you know it's, it's sticking out. I forgot what they call that exactly. Uh, this one has a free coaster, which is the first complete that we're seeing on this whole whole setup here. Um, and this one does come with pegs as well. You can see it's written on there. But five hundred ninety nine dollars. You get a serious bike. Making our way down and it just gets crazy, guys. Over here is the kink help frame. So this is the Nathan Williams uh, signature uh, complete. It's my now, favorite color, Scott, honestly. That color's cool. That I don't know color. what you, what you call like that color. Almost like a root beer or like a... Like a hair of a bronze. Really cool color. Almost like a rust in a way. Um, but this bike comes with an um, amazing part Decked setup. Out. You can see it's got the cinema hubs on it with the hub guards. Really great quality awesome. cinema tires. Um, it's it's, it's just as, as good as it gets, really. And the price on this one, what is this one? I can't even see the price, but I feel like it's going to be pretty good. It, does, it doesn't say it on there. No. I I'm going to get a quick price update real quick. I'll be back shortly. Price update. We're back in. Uh, it's eight ninety nine. So expensive bike, but guys, this is literally probably the same stuff that Nathan Williams rides. Like it's it's great quality. And if you guys know who Nathan Williams is, in my opinion, he is probably the best street rider of all time when it comes to doing the gnarliest stuff. So definitely an amazing bike. And it comes with pegs. You can see that they're in the four pegs. Here, so four uh, cinema pegs, I believe. So and now we're moving our way to the last bike. Now this one right here is a custom. Uh, complete that the guys built up here at the shop. You can see from the receipt, it's built up of all the high quality parts that we have. We got Primo wheels. Um, it's like I said, it's a kink cross cut frame. This is uh, one of a kind. We're actually going to hook you guys up on this one. If you guys want to order this bike, we're going to let you guys get it for 15% off, but you have to put in the code crosscut15 and then you guys can get this bike for 15% off. So we'll we'll give you guys a uh, hookup on this one and you're definitely going to get a great quality bike right here. Really cool color. It's like a pinkish kind of color. Like I don't even know how they call it. What would you call it, Matt? Uh, peach? Peach-ish. Either way, you can get this pinkish peach bike for 15% off right now if you wanted to. So, yeah, I just figured I would just do a quick little breakdown and show you guys what we have BMX-wise. And as always, we have a ton of different BMX parts. Um, you can see over here a bunch of our seats. We got a ton of different grips. Um, we have handlebars over here as well. And if you guys want to order anything, we would be honored to be able to help you out with that. So I just want to do a quick little video to explain this one, and we're going to continue on outside. It's that time again where Scotty teaches Maddie a new trick that he's never done before. Scotty and this one was something teach. that we were talking about yesterday. So perfect spot and perfect uh, time to do it. You can see there's a beautiful concrete wall. And what's yeah. so nice about this wall is it's uh, really smooth, but it's also grippy at the same time. Yeah, so which, if you put your elbow on it, it hurts. It does. It definitely does. And I don't know if it will happen. We'll see, we'll see what goes on. Right. Um, but we got a nice uh, setup right here, a uh, nice paved area. The wall is just high enough. If it was anything lower, it would definitely make it pretty hard to do this on. But <sighs> the trick that we're learning today is the wall ride to 180 on flat. A uh, common street trick uh, for a lot of the uh, bigger heads out there that are really good street riders, but I don't know. It's, it's not common for me, Scott. It, it's, not, it. it's not common for everybody. I don't though. do it off ramps. I don't do it flat. Mm -hmm. I've never done it. Okay, so we're going to so, work on through it. So I got my trusty seat right here. I'm going to be able to sit down, document what happens really safely. That yeah, that's why I did it. You think it's going to be one of those days? I know it's going to be one of those so days. We only bring those out for a Ross Kelly challenge. So here we are. I'm wow. going to be parked right here just watching. I'm really excited about You also about think it. you're safe right there. There you go. I'm a little closer now. Feels a little better. So everybody out there that's not a BMX rider, this is the process of learning a trick. You sit here and you try it over and over and over and over again. But this time around, Maddie gets lucky to have a person like me that's able to dissect it and figure out what's going wrong and I can give him the advice that he needs. That was really good. Okay, I really like what you did there. If you watch this replay, you went up nice and high and the bike was very sideways against the wall. That's what you need to do because you need to get as much pop off as possible. Number two. Up, oh, see the slide out. You gotta make sure the bike is as sideways as you could possibly get to be able to do it. Attempt number three. <laughs> that was a really quick first trick right there, guys. I can't believe it's not attempt 69. Can't believe it. That one was really good, but he thinks he could do it better without a correction hop. Yep, correction, correction. Oh. Wow, you just like did a quick little spin. I don't know how I did. Oh, bummer. Oh. Nope. Oh my god, it was right there. 
Let's go. All right, he got lucky on that third attempt, guys. That's what it looks like. Correction. Yeah. That was so good. Is that like Dak? Yeah, that was just like Dak. I felt like Dak. On that, that was just like Dak. Good job, man. You actually learned that one really easy. It uh, didn't feel easily. It felt like it was at least 69 tries. But you got you pretty much pulled out in the third try. I have an arm pump right here, right now, and that was after the third try. Like my arms feel sore from picking up the bike. Well, it just hurts. Well, I was just thinking while I was sitting in this chair with nothing else better to do. What if? we took one of the cheapest bikes that we have on the rack and you attempt it on that bike to prove how good quality the complete bikes are nowadays because you just learned the trick for the first time on your custom bike can you possibly get close to doing one on a complete bike that's the real question poor kid is gonna ride that bike <laughs> we will give the, we'll give this one away we'll give this one away you give a bike away we're gonna give it away just yeah. that it'll already win it, yeah. yep really yep just to prove to you guys the quality of the complete bikes, um, I figured we can do this one and I'll give away the bike. I won't do a giveaway on YouTube. I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, go comment this, whatever. I'm just gonna give it away in the kindness of my heart to somebody in need. So that's gonna be the game plan on this one. This isn't about trying to chase attention on giving it away. I'm just going to give it to somebody who really needs the bike. So it's up to Maddie if he wants to take it on. We'll see what he says. King Curb. I think King Curb is the way to go. 360 bucks, what man. What color? Mm, I, don't, I don't even care. <laughs> I'm not feeling okay, too sure. Okay, I'm gonna get so you selected your bike? Oh, yeah. Is that the one? King so, Curb. Tell everybody what it is. This is a King Curb. This is a, this one retails 369. Mm -hmm. And this is like a very good feeling lower priced bike. Okay. I think it's the best way to say it. Like this feels like I could ride this bike. Well, I think just because of sand over, sand over height and everything. Mm. Big tires, high up handlebars top loads, like all that stuff, just makes it feel like a very sturdy bike. All right, let's go make some modifications and we'll get this going. So what's the modification you're making? I'm gonna raise the seat up. Don't ask me why. Yeah, I was just wondering why. it just why. feels better. <laughs> you just wanted to feel a little bit more just, like yours? Yeah, once I feel the seat against my knees, I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Okay. So, I guess like this that. preference, it makes sense. This is almost just for peace of mind. Really, I don't think it does anything, but do that. Honestly, well, the bars don't feel bad. As long so as they're, they're straight. They're, they're like a hair back. They are a touch much. back. I'll move fire it a little bit to match mine. Okay. I need all, all that I could get. Okay. Crank flips are dialed way better on that bike this than yours. so good with that. Way so better. Easy. That's crazy. That's substantially better than on your bike. It feels good. I don't know why. It's nuts. So you're going to leave the tags on just to make sure it's a full on complete? I just want to remember what bike it was. Yep, King Curb. Still a King Curb. <laughs> and it was built by Matt. And the serial number is that. All right. Well, uh, best of luck, Matt. I hope you can pull this one off. Okay. Show everybody how good complete bikes are nowadays. This feels awesome. First attempt. All right. Sounds solid, out. though. Sounds really solid. Oh! <laughs> that was second try, guys. Can't believe you just did that second try, man. It took you three tries on your bike. Yeah, I got a second try on the King Curb. It just goes to show how nice BMX bikes are nowadays. And uh, man, it's just crazy. I can't believe and that just happened. That's just shocking. Has, it doesn't matter what bike you have. I mean, honestly, if you could do it on one bike, you could probably do it on the next bike. So mm -hmm. it's more about it's personal just, preference. You know, you convince yeah. yourself that, that you can't ride. Like once I put up the seat and I felt the seat and moved the, the handlebars to where I'd have them on my bike, mm -hmm. if I didn't look down, the bike would feel exactly the same <laughs> as my bike. So. Ridiculous. That's just man. what it is. It's, that's freaking cool. That's cool to know, honestly. It's just three hundred and sixty dollars, guys, and this could be yours. That's crazy to and think. It's really good for crank flips. Very good for crank flips. Yeah, if you guys are looking for a crank flip bike, I don't know why, but this one's <laughs> spot on. So, wild. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. I am so impressed with how Maddie rode that bike. The fact that he's just able to grab that thing, adjust the handlebars and the seat, and be able to do a trick that literally he just learned. He just learned for the first time on his bike, his complete nice. custom bike. Now that bike costs a ton of money. There's so much money that goes into that one right there to make it perfect. Now, I just want to go point it out there. That is a $360 bike, but the truth is that's not going to handle the abuse that Maddie's bike can handle or like the 
kink help or the kink crosscut, that complete that we have on here for 15% off. The quality of the parts are going to last longer the more money you spend. That is just how it is, guys. It's just better quality stuff, better metal, better welding, all of that goes into it. But we're also talking about somebody who's really good like Maddie doing some crazy stuff. I would not recommend it on a cheaper bike like that, but the truth is it's really good for a starting bike, especially for $360. But I just want to go put it out there, guys. We have these bikes for sale right now on our website, scbicycles.com. You guys can get whichever bike you guys want from us. We can ship them on out to wherever, but there is a special offer for you guys. We will give you a 15% off if you use the code CROSSCUT15 on that bike and go and purchase it right now. If you want, we can autograph it to you. You just got to put it in the notes, and that goes for pretty much any order out there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to go to scbicycles.com and we will see you in the next one. Peace.